help businesses and residents to separate their trash. But some people are still confused as to where things go. So today we're in San Francisco in the Ferry Building with Deanna Simon and Jean Walsh from the Department of Environment who are gonna go over some of the things and where they go in this program. Hello ladies, how are you? Good, thanks Good. for having us. There's three different bins right here. Um, let's start with this blue one. So what is the blue bin? The blue bin is the recycling bin and what's really important to know in San Francisco is that almost nothing goes in the trash. So don't look at this one. Um, a lot of things can go in the blue bin. Paper, most plastics, hard plastics, uh, glass, and metal. A lot of things can go into the green bin. All your food scraps, even meat and bones, yard trimmings, plants, dead plants, and also food soiled papers. So greasy pizza boxes, old napkins, things like that. Okay, and so this was the trash bin, the one we're trying to stay away from. What would go into this one? Uh, very few things go in the trash. Uh, wrappers, like from chip bags or candy bars can go in here. Um, dirty plastic bags. Um, and anything that's a mixed material, like if you buy a soy milk carton off of the shelf, not the refrigerated section, and it's a foil lined carton on the inside, it's waxy paper on the outside, any of those melded materials cannot be recycled or composted if they go in the trash. And that's really about it. You can usually put about 75 to 90 percent of everything that you get rid of in the blue or the green, and then there are a lot of things you can do with everything that can't go in the blue and the green, so they still don't have to put go in the black. Okay, so some of those things that people are confused about we have right here on the table. So we're just going to go over these. What about something like this, a battery? Battery, that's an oddball item. Doesn't go in any of the three carts. But you can take them to any Walgreens in San Francisco. A lot of hardware stores, including coal hardware, will take batteries back for safe disposal and recycling. What about this, a coffee cup? All of this stuff here can go in the blue or the green cart. So. In the green cart, you can put almost anything that used to be alive. So this is a wooden stick. Wood comes from trees, used to be alive, goes in the green cart. Okay. Um, the top, when you're done with it, is plastic. It's a hard plastic, not a soft plastic bag thing. So that can go in the blue cart for right. recycling. The sleeve right here is like cardboard, like a cereal box. And that goes, it's paper, clean paper, so it goes in the blue cart. And this waxed paper cup here um, can go in the green cart because all, all food sold paper can go in the green cart, even things that are waxy. Aluminum cans can be recycled. Everybody should be recycling aluminum cans. Uh, the other great thing about them is that within six weeks, they're turned right back into an aluminum can back on the store shelves. So it's a great item to recycle. Uh, an incandescent light bulb, this kind that's round here, when it burns out, it just goes in the trash. Um, but it's very important to know that, flu that fluorescent light bulbs and um, compact fluorescents have mercury in them. Mercury is a toxic metal and they can be recycled for free at a lot of the hardware stores in the city. And again, online, we have a resource that tells you where you can recycle light bulbs for free near your house. This is a paper plate and it's food soil paper. So food soil paper goes in the compost. Don't worry if it has a bunch of gunk on it, that's perfect, the compost system loves that. Right in the green bin. A to-go container, what would you do with something like this? This is plastic, uh, this can be recycled. Now some people think that they have to look at the bottom and look at the number on the bottom because in a lot of jurisdictions around the country only certain numbers are accepted. San Francisco is great because all of the plastic is accepted in our, in our recycling program except the soft plastics like plastic bags and saran wraps. So that's an easy one. Right into recycling. the blue bin. With a cup, the first thing to do is determine if it's made from plants or made from plastic. Okay. So plastic number on the bottom means it goes in the blue. This one you can see it has the green stripe and it says compostable. It doesn't say biodegradable. So because it says compostable, it can go into the green compost cart. Some people think, well, plastic goes in the recycling, right? And maybe they put all their recyclables in a plastic bag and drop it in the blue cart. That actually is, is not something that goes in the blue cart. The plastic bags can muck up the recycling machinery. Okay. And every day the men have to get in there and the recycling workers have to get in there and pull those plastic bags out of the machinery. And so those plastic bags either go in the black cart because they're trash or they can also be recycled at any grocery store in the city. Uh, grocery stores accept plastic bags for recycling. But the best thing we say is to bring a canvas bag, a reusable bag, and just avoid plastic altogether. These soft plasticky materials uh, just go in the trash. So the soft plastics go in the trash, but also anything that's mixed material, things are like uh, paper, you know, uh, sorry, plastic coated paper or foil lined paper, those mixed materials and the soft things goes in the trash. Another one of those mixed type of things are envelopes that, you know, have the little plastic um, window in it. What would you do with something like that? That can actually go in the recycling. Uh, it gets the whole, pa all the paper that gets recycled gets mushed up and filtered. And so all those little pieces of plastic or staples or paper clips that are mixed in with the paper, they get filtered out. Okay, so another common item, CDs in their cases. What should we do when we're done listening to that music? Well, you know, you can always bring CDs 
to a, a record store, you know, for, for reuse. That's always what we encourage. But if it's, let's say, you know, an America Online CD, if you still have one of those lying around, that can be recycled. You can put them right in your blue cart. Wow, okay. The cases and the CDs. There's two really great resources online. The first one is you can go to sfenvironment.org and look at our EcoFinder. It's an online database of basically everything that can be recycled and you can look up by your zip code where to recycle it for free near your house. It's really important to remember that most of the things that we get rid of don't have to go in the black cart. So for a lot of people, they almost they have a tiny, tiny trash can. Okay, so stay like away from the black one. It just goes to landfill, this gets wasted. There's so much we can put in the recycling compost. Thank you both for being here. I think we've learned a lot about this program and what to do with our different items. Um, in San Francisco, I'm Ashley Larson for NEN TV.